I don't know if this would work or not, but you know, I know they got a lot of different experimental uh, frequency programs with this rifing or whatever. I, you know, this isn't exactly what Royal Rife did, obviously. They're kind of using the word. It's a frequency generator with the two remote devices with the DNA holders. And it's supposed to transmit the frequency to your own DNA by having a fingernail clipping in the DNA holder. So, uh, it's, uh, you know, I can't wrap my mind around this exactly myself, but it may or may not be effective. Uh, it's something that is not, well, it's been around for a while now. I've seen the, they've been selling, been using these devices for since 2009, at least, that I know of. So, you know. I guess the actual effectiveness actually is uh, depends on, you know, what you're trying to address, and it depends on upon the person. A lot of different things, but it's been uh, it's more and more people believing in it. So let me put it this way: this is going to be for hair. So you want to do in a search box, type the word hair. So what I'm thinking of doing here is uh, running several programs. So we have uh, loss of hair, right here. Double click this on goes down in the drop down box and uh, you know it comes up with anything that is has the word hair in here like uh, cancer hairy cell we're not looking for that just looking for regular hair <laughs> human hair this is on the bio list it's it's excuse me not that one this one here and then hair losing let's try that one anyway hair loss one hair loss two uh, and Let's try um, this one here, Regain Color Gray. Now, I don't know if this is going to be effective or not, but it's kind of cool that it's in this program, and what's going on is like, you know, the whole theory is that it's trying to transmit a frequency to the body to influence the body to do something good or bad, or, well, not bad, in other words, to either destroy a bad pathogen, or try to do something good to the body, like grow your hair back or make it less gray or something. But on this, on these type of things, like it says, you know, you want to keep the standard settings. At least this is how the theory goes. Duty cycle 50%, amplitude 5 volts, offset 0, offset 0. Now, Holda Clark, she recommended 100% positive offset when trying to address microbes. Uh, this is not addressing microbes. This is trying to allegedly attempt to grow hair or uh, I don't have that problem but it's like I'm doing it anyway <laughs> and uh, you know I'm just messing around but I just want to point out to people you know pfft, you know it's amazing what's in this thing and that if it works for some people for some things and you know if it pretty much works does you some kind of good on some way whether it's uh, just trying to grow some hair maybe and like I don't know how solid these type of things would be. Some of the other some of the other things probably seem to be more solid, but you want to keep it like um, at the four or five volts. You don't want to have any high voltage. Duty cycle fifty percent, square wave. Uh, you don't want to check off any of these four hertz gate or anything like that. You don't need you don't need to check off any of these. And the reason I'm running a lot of programs is that I can let it run and. Just let it run for hours because it's not going to keep repeating the same frequency that much. In other words, allegedly, if you're repeating the same two or three frequencies over and over again, I think how it's supposedly the theory is that your body becomes adjusted to it and it doesn't do as much good. So you want to run... <clears throat> several frequency sets addressing the same type of issue. Now, this is a safe issue because if it doesn't work, it's not going to... I mean, if your hair doesn't grow back or your hair doesn't get less gray, it's not going to It's not gonna be a major problem one way or the other, you know, now. So, <laughs> but I'm just saying that it's in this program and, uh, you know, people should, you know, if they got the thing, they might as well experiment with it. I don't know how well it's going to work or not. I wouldn't keep any ex expectations up on this deal, but you never know. You never know. So here, the program, it says, you know, up here it says total run time, 2 hours and 22 minutes. You know, treatment duration, zero, mi zero, zero, 0000, because I didn't hit the start button yet. But in other words, it takes 2 hours and 22 minutes to go from through this whole list and go down to here 
and then it goes back up to the top again. So in other words, the body, the theory is the body's not becoming adjusted to like one frequency by running it too much. That's why I figured, you know, put a whole bunch of different programs in here. So I hit start. And you see it's going in out on uh, out one and out two. Now you can just do this with one remote and I got two remotes on it. Uh, you know, absolutely nothing on here is supposed to be harmful in any way. Uh, and, you know, I just got to point out some of this stuff in here, like here it says 460. See, with this stuff, with these frequencies, there are some of them that... I guess it's more than circumstantial evidence or something that, well, let me say this. The ones they allege to be the most effective is 465, 727, 787, 800, 880, and 10,000. So these are all included in here, and they seem to be in here maybe on a couple different programs. They seem to, they're supposedly very good frequencies for addressing a number of issues. So who the hell knows what the actual uh, um, theory is behind these frequency sets because it may be trying to just address uh, the general health of the body. And but with that, uh, your hair will grow back better. Who knows? But I can't imagine this working so well because, you know, I think with a lot of these things that are listed on these frequency lists, some are better than others. And... It also depends on the person. Sometimes maybe, you know, it's, uh, you know, maybe in certain percentage of the cases they seem to work better with some people and some people they don't. But my theory is on this is that, you know, I've, I've been trying to learn about this, is that you don't want to run like just say human hair and just click this one on only and it's running one frequency and just have that running constantly because the body will adjust to the one frequency after a period of time what you want to do theoretically is to run through various sets so it takes two hours and 22 minutes to get through all these sets and then it goes back to square one again you can just keep running it and from what I've been told is that the remote method takes quite a bit longer than the contact method and, uh, you know, I don't know how effective this is going to be because this is one of these deals because, uh, uh, you know, I think this is a little bit more, I think this is far more experimental than other things in here. I think some of the things in here are pretty more, pretty much more solid than other, than some things. Usually when I see uh, things on the extra list or something, they're not being used as much. Uh, it's... Uh, the one list I think is the proven list, they call it the proven list, is actually taken from this consolidated frequency list. Let me close this out for a second. We see this consolidated frequency list right here. It's uh, this proven list here is actually taken from this list, but somebody's tested some of the frequencies quite a bit in this list and they said, well, we think they work, so they put them up in a separate list called proven. But there are no... Um, there are no, you know, even though I don't have this checked off in the search, like if you look, there's nothing that shows up for hair under proven. So I don't know how well this is going to work, but it may, it may or may not. So my theory is, like I said, is to run several sets of programs because maybe one of them is going to work and one of the other ones aren't. You're not going to know which one's going to work if it helps. And this is not something you're going to know overnight anyway. But uh, you want to actually, the theory is not to repeat one frequency too long. It's set, you know, it's already got this, this, uh, the alleged best timing parameters for the frequency. That's three minutes at 20 hertz. And it's already set in here. But you don't want to keep running a certain few number of frequencies too many times over and over again. So what I do is I run, you know, I'm running like uh, six programs. So. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know if somebody to help somebody. It'd be pretty wild, but I don't know. I have no way to determine that, but I just want to point it out. So if you have this device and you want to experiment with different things, and uh, I really don't have hair loss, so it's I'm gonna have a real tiny, tiny bit of it, but it's like um, 
you know, I don't know what it's going to do for me, but I'm running it anyway. And I just wanted to point this out because, uh, you know, you don't want to look at this solely from uh, trying to address all these other issues. You might be trying to address something like this, something very minor or cosmetic. Now, it would be pretty wild if this was effective. But, uh, well, if it turned out to be effective, I think, you're because everybody on the block would want one, that's for sure. But, we'll, you know, the only way to find out if it's effective is for people to try it. Um, you know, I'd imagine if it is effective, I think it's going to be effective in a certain percentage and probably a minority if I just took a guess. I would not think this, you know, if it worked, <laughs> the word would be out. I think it might be, you know, supposedly if it does work somewhat, it probably might be more in the minority, but... Hey, if you're one of the lucky minority, hey, what the hell, right? Who knows? Who knows? You know, only testing will find out.